friends, it's Kelly and I have a new video today for you showing you how to create an embellishment using this die set from Global End. It's just a real simple little um, stitched floral die set and I cut out lots and lots of these on 110 pound Nina solar cardstock. So because I am making embellishments and it's important that the embellishments are uh, sturdy and not flimsy. So I just kind of wanted to show you what I'm doing and how I'm putting these little floral clusters together. The first thing was I, like I said, I cut all of them out on white cardstock and that was so that I could color them myself. And to color them, I just used my Distress Oxide inks and just Distress inks. So I love these and it's so much fun to create your own color palette. And um, while cutting out on cardstock is great, I just sometimes find it's hard to find all the card stocks that match. I mean, I buy them from Michaels in like the packs, but, um, and that's great for many things, but I just, I like this method of coloring them myself better. Just it's another creative outlet and I enjoy it. So, but cutting out on colored card stock is always an option too. So what I've done is just, like I said, I colored all of these and then I went in and let me grab one that I haven't done yet and took a Sakura Jelly Roll, um, I forget what these are called, but they have like sparkly uh, ink inside of them. So, and I like them because they're sparkly. And I just went in the stitched areas and just kind of filled that in just to give it a little extra detail. And it's a little bit time consuming, but I love the extra little detail it gives and that little extra sparkle. And I did this with all of my florals. And since I am participating in a swap, I'm doing um, a swap with Ginger's, um, Ginger's Corner Facebook group where they do lots of swapping over there. And this one is for a Mayflower swap. So I jumped on that because I wanted to use this die set. So is it, I don't know how well that's going to show up. I think it shows up pretty well. It just gives a little extra dimension and sparkle, and I love it. And then I went in to most of my flowers. I haven't done them all yet. And just because everything has to be pretty flat to nail, which if you know me, I love tons of dimension. And I felt like this, the center needed something or maybe the edges. And I, so I just took my diamond, is that what this is? Stardust, I like diamond too. This is my Stardust stickles. And I'm just gonna go around the edges again for a little more sparkle and shine. I used really, really bright tones on these, which is beautiful and reminds me of the tropics. And to put the ink on, I know I'm kind of all over the place here. <laughs> I'm gonna let that dry for a little while before I try to add it to another cluster. So to add my ink, I just have these like makeup brushes. You can find these at, I've seen them at the Dollar Tree. I got these off of Amazon, but I've seen them all over the place and I like them. And so I just went 
like that and rub the ink on. So super simple. Let it dry for a minute and then went over it with the Sakura. Oh, I should know the name of these. It's not on here. I'll link them in the description box below if you're interested in them, but they just add a little touch of sparkle. And how many times can I say sparkle and shine in this video? That could be like a drinking game if you're a drinking person. <laughs> so let's see. Let me get all this a little bit cleaned off. And then I'm going to go ahead and put one of these together. And like I said, I'm, they, it has to be relatively flat. So I'm not going to like try to lift up the petals or anything like that. So it just hurts my, hurts my heart to make it flat. <laughs> it has to travel through the nail. So that it is. So I'm just gluing this pink one on top of there. So I, I'm using a big, big floral, medium and small. And let's see, we'll put this here. I love this pop of yellow. Put that in there in the back. It's still pretty flat, right? <laughs> I'm going to add my leaves behind that to make a little cluster. That, my friends, if it dries, is it. And this is just a cute little layered floral cluster embellishment. I will link this cut file, oh, cut file, oh my goodness, this die cut. <laughs> from Global Land in the description box below. And there is also a code down there is Kelly10 for a 10% off. Um, I'll add this. See, I told you I'm kind of all over the place. A 10% off coupon code. And Global Land already has really good prices as it is. So that 10% is a really good deal. Do I want to add this too? See, I can't do flat. It's like my mind and it, my hands, they, they just won't do it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ginger. I can't. It can be relatively flat for me. Do I want that on there? Maybe not. There? No. I think we're good. I'm going to add that one little thing and I'm going to add a little bit of stickles to the center of this flower. Well, that wasn't a little bit, that was a lot bit. Let's just spread that out. Right. I'll just add it as a little bit more glue. And that is it. Okay, I'm going to leave that one alone. Stop adding stuff, Kelly. Stop. <laughs> Do you have to talk to yourself too? All right, that's it. I'm gonna go and do the rest of these and I will have some close-ups at the end once the stickles is all dried on these because I have inky, sticky, glittery fingers. And I'm gonna go ahead and finish these and like I said, close-ups at the end. Go check out all the pertinent information in the description box below. Thank you.